So if you do need to adjust the pressure of your main broom, that is done manually outside of the sweeper, okay? So on the left-hand side of the, the machine, you'll see you've got this long uh, screw that basically goes into this block, and you can use the same tool that you use to change out your gutter brooms and turn the turn buckle at the top of that screw. If you're turning it clockwise, you're gonna be bringing this block up and that's going to be adding pressure, down pressure to that main broom. Conversely, turning it counterclockwise is going to lower that block on that screw, and that's going to be lightening the pressure up. So if you do think you need to make that adjustment and that pressure, you're going to do that off of this left-hand side. That will evenly distribute that pressure across the whole width of the broom. There's no reason to do it on, on one side or the other. You can only do it off the left-hand side. Another thing that I want you to be aware of and check out is if you notice that the machine is, is trailing for some reason and it looks like your dirt shoes are good, they're making nice good contact with the road, right now is a great time to kind of do that inspection and make sure that that dirt shoe is touching the ground even uh, from the front all the way through the back so it's going to be wearing nice and even as you go. Um, but you want to make sure that you're not trailing. And in front of the dirt shoe, on the inside, we have what's called a dirt shoe deflector. Uh, it's basically a metal ramp that's attached to the front of your elevator system and rides on a block that's basically on the inside of that poly dirt shoe. That poly dirt shoe is molded and has a nice wide ledge on the inside that this metal ramp will float up and down on. Uh, Basically, it acts as a, as, a, as a ramp to keep funneling that material that you're putting in front of your pickup room and is being flicked towards the front and onto the elevator system. You can see that ramp if you look straight down through the top of the uh, elevator on the inside, uh, straight down. You want to make sure that it's resting on top of that block, that it's not bent down underneath or hasn't been damaged, bent, or potentially ripped off in any way. But if you know you've got good broom pattern, you've got good dirt shoes on it, your pickup brooms are adjusted properly, uh, and everything looks good, but for some reason you're still trailing, definitely want to get eyes on that uh, dirt shoe deflector on either side. Make sure that it's in place uh, and isn't damaged, uh, because nine times out of ten, if, if you're seeing trailing and you can't find anything obvious outside of the machine, that's going to be the culprit and that's something that you want to do an inspection on on a regular basis.